In the early entertainment years of Stan Hoffman, comedy always played a key role. Being a natural comedian, he spread his humor throughout everything he did. Being so easy to work with made him a target for many roles. After performing many poetry readings in the Long Beach area, he began adapting his words to music. Not singing, but rapping. At the age of 53, Stan had finally entered the rap game. He heard his calling and answered, whoop, whoop, whoop. It's Quasar, cyber rapper extraordinary. The reasons I took the cyber theme is that there's got to be 40, 50 million kids out there not on computers. I mean, that's my hood. That is my new hood. That's my cyber hood. Instead of just rapping, I'm going to do cyber rap. And it's going to be about the whole new millennium coming in. Computers, inner space, cyber space, two babies, sex with thought waves, lunar colonies, robots, gene engineering, the whole thing. <laughs> I'm reading an article in the paper about some rapper making about 10, 15 million a year. So I went out and bought a few of the rap records. NWA, um, the other one, Public Enemy, and they were the ones that kicked it off straight out of Compton and all that. Your ego's on, you know, at, on the line when you perform in front of a group. Sure, you want to do your best, you want to get a great reaction. Stop, slime, commit crime, the time's all wasted. I'm messing with Bill, shoving them by the thousands into jail. Another place for them to learn how to fail. San Quentin, Folsom, Sing Sing, I keep recycling. The whole idea of entertaining is to entertain. And you've got to get your thought across. You want to be accepted, you want to be loved, and uh, and uh, of course it helps to get a nice big check too at the end of the show, but uh, you really do it for love basically. I'm doing this now because uh, Quasar wants the glory. You can take the money and shove it, man. It's the glory that counts. It. Whoop. Problem with the machine when I boot the computer, a message on the screen.